Okay. So today we're on the fiery gizzard trail. Super excited about this trail today. We are hiking 12.5 miles to our campsite at the other end. We're gonna do an overnighter and then come back up another 12.5 miles uh, tomorrow. Just about one mile into the hike, and as we've seen, uh, it's lots of water, some falls, some cliffs. I mean, I love this place. Over here, you can see where the old bridge used to stand. See the pillar there. We're just getting started. Marker 11.8. So the chimneys, that's pretty cool. Apparently they're like 300 million years old. There's somewhere to sit, we can eat, take a load off. swimming down there in the hole.
Well, we've got food, we've got water, I have energy. It is uh, roughly 12 o'clock now, uh, seven hours from here. Uh, should put us around the campsite at 7 p.m. So let's, uh, we're gonna have to pick up the pace. Eleven to go. You can tell this is the, the path least traveled because oh, everything's overgrown. Uh, the trail narrows up. Yeah, these rocks, man. <laughs> no joke. What I am worried about is it said, oh, the rest of the hike's going to be very difficult. It's not difficult yet. It's very concerning. Oh man, these rocks are slowing down my journey. Okay, I'm breathing kind of heavy. I guess we are um, starting to experience the strenuous part. I saw this bag. I didn't really care about going ultra light today, so I've got about 25 pounds on my back. miles getting closer slowly how the heck did a tire get out here I wonder if they'll let me hitch a ride Ending rocks. Because I had this pack on today, I'm trying to be careful. It's a little harder to keep your balance. 25 pounds on your back. It doesn't even feel like you're on the trail till you look up and see a white blaze. out here you better have some ninja skills catch your balance you fall I'm super fortunate today and I have lost my footing quite a bit everything's just so wet it's so wet it's easy to slide if you have any weight on you you're gonna you're gonna be sliding Looking for a good place to sweat. This place is it. I'm sweating profusely. Take advantage of this uh, nice flat path here. <laughs> It's a 
shame that we can't slow down right now. That entire river is just beautiful. Three miles in. Ten, nine and a half to go. Oh man. <laughs> so yeah, there's a waterfall over there. But the path comes up here. It's kind of a bummer. Nine point five miles. Whoo. So we've got to get across this. Don't want my shoes to get wet. Don't know what we're gonna do. Well, my shoes are soaked. I've failed miserably. Oh. Do it justice, but it's literally straight, straight up. Oh, I'm not even sure if I'm on the path anymore. It's just all rocks. Oh, yeah, I see a blaze. We're on the path. I cannot believe this is part of the trail. It's like someone just dumped a whole bunch of rocks. Fiery gizzard, I did not expect this. Oh, man. Nectar of the gods. Okay, that was a nice break. Time to go. Highly recommend bringing some sort of app, trail app with you. I totally got off the trail on those rocks back there. Went pretty far before I realized I hadn't seen a blaze. My thing is don't panic. Calm down, think logically. this mountain and the fields of rocks just not fun I cannot tell you how many times I fell because rock would just move when I stepped on it so if you start at the north trailhead just be ready to be worn out by the time that you get to the first third of the trail, you will be going up and up and up.
I nerd out every time I see a bridge. Check this one out. Really am so happy to be back by water. Good money for a slushy right now. Good money. to see some water. I am so thirsty. Oh yeah. Been out of water the last two miles. Oh. I'm not running out of water again. <laughs> we are going to refill. Whew. All right, let's hit it.
a literal rock throne. There are so many interesting mushrooms on this trail. Six point five miles left. About four hours of sunlight. We can do this. Not much to some of y'all, but uh, I'm gonna be so proud when I get this trail done. I know, it's just funny. I was looking at it online, I was like, 12 miles. I walk 12 miles at work every day. And I didn't, I did not consider the elevation change or how much this backpack would impact me. Funny, do these long hikes. You go through periods where you know it just seems insurmountable, and then an hour later, you found your peace and your calm. And I guess what I'm saying is, there's only one way to get through it. It's one step at a time. Just keep walking. Two and a half miles. Oh, if everything goes well, should only be hiking for another hour, hour and a half. Yes. be the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. The final mile. Ooh. I'm not gonna lie, I was not prepared for this one, guys. did it. Oh, holy cow. Oh. What a brutal hike. Oh. I want to 
wanted to give everyone a quick update. When I got to the end of the trailhead, I needed to get some water. I had two options. I could either pull from the stream or get some of the bathrooms. Turns out the bathrooms were closed. And then um, the water fountains were also closed. So I ended up making it back to the campsite. A little bit lighter than I wanted to. Um, it was dark. Um, I had to set my tent up in the dark. Get my camp set up. Um, obviously it's too dark. I'm not going to go forage for firewood. Although I could. Um, so, you know, I'm pretty tired. I think I'm just going to try to hit the bed. Hit the hay and uh, get some Z's. Morning. The deer. If you're curious, this is the Father Adams campsite, site number four. This is what you get. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button and subscribe for future content.